The Indian Women's Association achieved a massive milestone this weekend as they joined four other charities in working and raising funds for their various causes. The Indian Women's Association is a non-profit organization which was established over 35 years ago in Ghana. Their main goal is to provide a social and cultural platform to unify the Indian community and to reach out to the needy in the local community. Their areas of focus for charitable activities include community development by providing facilities that are lacking educational and medical assistance. IWA has undertaken several projects over the years, including building classrooms at the Nima Cluster of Schools, the community school in Adenta Village, digging boreholes in many other communities, as well as providing equipment to the Benz Unit at Kolebu Teaching Hospital in Accra. In the past, they've also provided relief materials worth 30,000 cities to Nadmo during the Accra floods in 2015. Currently, they are supporting two Ghana Paralympic athletes, Rafael Bouchain Kegbe and Maclean Achuju Jonyu. Rafael is currently with Team Ghana at the 2018 Commonwealth Games in Gold Coast, Australia. Earlier this year, the Indian Women's Association donated vital sign units and monitors to the Rebecca Foundation for the Mother and Baby Unit at Konfuanochi Teaching Hospital in Kumasi. Nine years ago, the Indian Women's Association and ESCOM ladies started a breast cancer awareness fundraiser. Their main aim was raising awareness about the importance of regular screenings, early detection, and also supporting those with the disease. They've come a long way and they've achieved quite a lot of recognition and support. It was in the spirit of creating awareness about breast cancer in the country that they joined three other charities to raise awareness about the disease and also raise funds to support the activities in the country. Towards the United for Charity walk held at Labadi, there was a press conference at the Labadi Beach Hotel earlier on to outdoor the event. The press conference was addressed by Vanisha Dayani, who is the Vice President of the Indian Women Association. Um, Indian Women Association is a non-profit organization which was established over 35 years ago. Our main goal is to provide a social and cultural platform to unify the Indian community and reach out to the needy in the local community. Uh, nine years ago, the Indian Women Association and the XCOM ladies started the Breast Cancer Awareness Fundraiser. Breast Cancer Awareness is our effort to raise awareness and, re and reduce the stigma of breast cancer through education on symptoms and treatment. It is our hope that this knowledge will lead to earlier detection of breast cancer, which is associated with higher long-term survival rates. Our main message of breast cancer awareness is encouraging women to get yearly mammograms and raising awareness about early detection. On the day itself, the Labadi Beach Hotel was a beehive of activities as the various charities, their supporters and sponsors join in the fund to work to raise awareness and also to raise funds for their various charity causes. The Indian Women's Association were very glad to have in their presence on the day the president of the Indian Association of Ghana, Rajesh Thakar, as well as other sponsors who had supported them all throughout their campaign. After a lively walk through the principal streets of Labadi, through the Trade Fair Centre, past the Burma camp and back to Labadi Beach Hotel, the whole scene was uh, filled with a lot of uh, excitement as the various participants took their turns to exercise and also get to know a lot more about the other charities. Samina Thomas, who is the Secretary of the Indian Women's Association, spoke to the media about the achievement for the day. Uh, my name is Vanisha Daryanani. I'm from the Indian Women's Association and she's uh, the secretary. She'll tell you about uh, our cause. Hello, I'm Samina Thomas. I'm the secretary of the Indian Women's Association. And uh, our, the cause we are supporting here today is breast cancer. This cause has been very dear to us because we have been supporting it for over nine years now. And this is the second year we are taking part in this wonderful event, Unity for Walk, and uh, United for Charity, I'm sorry. We are together for this cause and we are very happy. We raised a lot of funds for our cause, which is breast cancer. Through this uh, event, the funds we raise are mainly for creating awareness because first step in curing is to know about the disease itself especially the detection and uh, we want to do it in the rural areas we work with an NGO called reach for recovery we want to empower them further where they can go further into interiors of Ghana where women they fear when the kind of symptoms come they do not know what exactly it is because we have to create the awareness they think of all kinds of things they are kind of uh, they are ostracized by the community so which we do not want it's just a disease which can be cured that's what we are trying to tell them not only in uh, cities but we 
want to tell in the rural areas through this uh, event and the funds collected we mainly want to use for creating awareness and, and for creating support. Of course, we support five patients at Korlebu in the chemotherapy because that is one of the most expensive thing and just see, looking at the cost, the patients who come there for treatment, they go back just hearing the cost. So we are trying to do as much as we can. We have, we, I can say that now proudly that IW has actually managed, one person has completely cured of the disease. Of course, it's an ongoing thing, but one person we supported in her uh, complete cure. We even supported her to go extent of surgery and today she is completely cured of this dreaded disease and we hope to cure many, many more. First thing is that it has created a lot of awareness, awareness in our own community. People are coming forward to help because we need funds mainly. So once we create the awareness in the community, they know what we are doing. They come forward. Like today you saw, we did receive a massive support. Even we didn't expect after all, the rain girls decided to show on us. We never thought our support will be so good, but we really are grateful to all our supporters because they came in big numbers and supported us. And uh, we are hoping this will go further because we have another event also for our this very cause because this is so very dear to us we go on and on with this cause yeah, and we have what raising awareness we have seen a lot of more survivors now and that is that is very good i mean what we are doing and we see more survivors that's the main objective we also spoke to maclean achuji jonyu a special thanks to the indian women association of ghana for including us uh, you know as persons with disabilities one thing we always want is inclusion and uh, they have always included us in their program and so uh, they told us that there was going to be some charity for fun with which there will be breast cancer for heart and other stuff and then the go get them wheelchair racing club uh, was so happy to be part and so this morning i organized my colleagues for us to be part of the work as a matter of fact it's a work for uh, charity and we the club and the athletes we're very happy to be part of the Indian Women Association of Ghana to go on this morning's work. Yeah, I want to commend uh, Indian Women Association of Ghana for the great job they are doing in Ghana. Uh, it is the Indian Women Association of Ghana that qualified uh, our athletes to the Commonwealth Games. Rafa Bocho in Kegwe. I say it emphatically that it is the IWA that qualified him. We were supposed to be two, but unfortunately, uh, one went. Aside that, uh, they have supported the club. They have really helped us recruit new uh, athletes into the club. And we are inspiring them with the disability sport that we are doing, that is the para sports. And so I really want to thank them for the good work they are doing. It is not only the club, but other charity organizations. The Indian Women's Association certainly were very happy to have other sponsors and partners joining them for this particular work which was to raise awareness about breast cancer and also help achieve their financial aims of spreading across the country, saving more women from the epidemic and also giving some treatment money to those in need. They expressed their gratitude to all sponsors who in diverse ways supported the cause in raising funds to support breast cancer awareness in the country, especially for those who donated equipment in covering the event from the skies, on the ground and what have you. They say Ayuko to all of you.